Hello everyone! Today we are going to focus our attention on hedges, expressions often used not only in spoken language but also in academic writing. Before we start, please study the following sentences in which examples of hedges are presented and answer the following questions. 1. What do you think hedges are? And 2. Why do you think hedges are so useful in academic writing? What are hedges? Hedges can have the form of an adjective, an adverb, it can also be an expression or a clause. When can we use hedges? We can use hedges to tone down our statements, to convey vagueness and to make sentences more acceptable to the listener. We can also use hedges to convey communication and the speaker's or writer's intention. Hedges can happen in a spoken and written language either intentionally or unintentionally. Let's study now types and examples of hedges. Adjectives. We have here examples such as determining, possible, probable, reasonable. Verbs. We have on the one hand modal verbs that imply possibility such as may, might, could or other verbs that convey vagueness such as appear, seem, suggest, speculate. Adverbs of probability, such as probably or likely, and also adverbs of quantity, frequency, degree, and time, such as approximately, quite, often, or occasionally. We can also have expressions that indicate a personal viewpoint, such as I believe, in my view, to our knowledge, to my belief, etc. And the last type of hedge is the compound hedge formed by different clauses such as it may suggest that or it seems reasonable, it is thought that, etc. You are going to spend some time now working on hedges. Please read the following extract and identify possible hedges. I'm sure that you've been able to identify the following hedges frequently, an adverb type, plausible, an adjective type, and speculate, a verb type. Please study now the second extract and please identify hedges again. Well done! You're totally right! The hedges here are suggest, support, may, may again, and eventually. This is the conclusion of hedges in academic writing. You should now know what hedges are, 
what they are used for and you should be able to identify them. Please make sure to use hedges in academic writing. And thank you very much for your attention once again. Universidad de las Palmas de Gran Canaria, Vicerrectorado de Calidad e Innovación Educativa.